This is nuts. She can't even dance. Plastic little spastic. Oh, Link, I can dance so much better than her. Why don't you notice me at school? <laughs> My pick is the musical Hairspray. It's the story of a high school girl named Tracy who grows up in Baltimore, has dreams herself of being a star, and is overweight and kind of an outcast. Imagine my little girl, regular, at last. I also hope to be the first woman president or a rocket. And also it's the story at the same time of her mother who is a shut-in because of her weight. Hey, Mama, hey, Mama, take a chance. Oh, Tracy, it's been years since someone asked me to dance. So and it's really about coming into yourself, accepting yourself as a, as a person, understanding that everyone is different. There's a very deep well of pain in this piece because the yes, people you it focuses on really do suffer. Hey, you don't have to be so rude. Tracy. In popular culture, High school is this place where misfits really do find it, it can be a terror. And for a person like Tracy, even though the system doesn't respect her, she triumphs over the system. And part of that is, it takes place in Baltimore in a segregated high school. You're really good. Well, thank you. She's the rebel in the school, the white girl who who crosses over and uh, mingles and socializes with the black kids. It's their vibrancy, it's their sense of life that really infuses the entire show. The songs in this show are delightful. Uh, you know, one after another, that runs through the entire musical, all the way to the last song, which is called You Can't Stop the Beat. And that's really about you can't stop progress. You can't stop people understanding that the world changes and they have to change with it. Tomorrow is a brand new day and you don't know what's wrong yet. The world keeps spinning round and round and my heart keeps it down to the speed of sound. For young people, there's nothing to replace you know, the, the crossing paths in a hallway in a high school, the, the sitting in a classroom talking through and watching each other. My book pick is Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi. The book is about a young Asian American woman. Well, it literally starts with her like wacky mom who's really fun at dropping her off in college. She wants to be a writer. She is thinking a lot about her writing. She wants to meet new people, thinking about romance. She meets this really cute guy who works at a bakery and he is like having a panic attack. And so she helps him out. Through that, they become each other's emergency contact. They kind of become each other's emotional support through this weirdly secret relationship that they conduct over text. So it has like a very like sweet worthy um, friendships and romance um, that are just really nice to read um, and exemplary of what it feels like to be you know 18 years old 19 years old um, and kind of experiencing a lot of uh, different relationship dynamics for the first time in your life. I can't imagine what it's like right now to be in this situation, be unsure if you can even go back to classes or not, being afraid of if you have to go back to classes or not. It's sort of that stepping stone, at least in American culture, where you kind of get to be on your own and like learn about yourself outside of sort of the, the framework that you've lived in before. It breaks my heart that anybody might feel robbed of that experience.